Today, several communities are coming together to celebrate Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s legacy. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Marcella Bayetto is live at one of the longest running MLK Day of Service events in the country. Good afternoon, Marcella. Hi, Jim. Yes, we're here inside of Girard College. Now, this is one of the longest and biggest running MLK day of service. Now, right behind me, you can see a lot of groups are here. They're kind of packing up some of the tables as of now, but these volunteers right in front of us are actually writing thank you letters to poll workers at the moment. But earlier today, we were here when everything first kicked off. T-shirts were given out to those who volunteered their time as they participated in this year's signature project, which included assembly gun safety kits. Now, they'll be distributed, though, throughout the community and include gun locks and information on safety resources. We also saw a Governor Josh Shapiro and Mayor Sherelle Parker at today's event as well. We spoke about, uh, they spoke about how Gerard College played an important part in Dr. King's legacy after he made a stop here while visiting Philadelphia after the passing of the 1964 Civil Rights Act. He came here to Gerard College to fight because he knew that notwithstanding the fact that the law was signed, we still didn't have real equity in our school system, and so he came to continue that work. And no matter our role, no matter our place or station in life, he encourages us to use every gift and talent that we have to uplift the lives of those who are around us. Now, this year's day of service is focusing on the 60th anniversary of the Civil Rights Act. Now, coming up later at noon, too, we are also going to be at a rights, a rally for peace and justice that's happening later today. We'll make sure to bring you some coverage of that as well. Live here at Gerard College, Marcella Bayetto, CBS News, Philadelphia.